The Humane Society of the United States is carrying out its largest animal rescue ever. 4,000 beagles, 4,000 are being removed from a Virginia breeding operation that's accused of violating animal welfare laws. Many of the dogs were set to be sold to labs for experiments, and now they're in desperate need of homes. Manuel Bajorquez tagged along with volunteers who are trying to make that happen quickly. Here we go. One by one, they are carried out of this van. Nervous, yes. But finally, in the arms of volunteers at Homeward Trails in Fairfax Station, Virginia, who want to nurture them. Here you go. And as executive director Sue Bell says, let them just be dogs. Having their feet on the grass for the first time ever. The first time the ever? The first time ever. These dogs have not touched a surface that hasn't been rubber since they were born. You're seeing them getting to run and hop. They've never done that before. They've never seen a toy. They've never sat in a lap. So it, it's a whole day of, of firsts for them. The day includes assessing the dog's health and needs. The inspection reveals the series of letters and numbers tattooed inside their ears by the breeders to identify them. The puppies that were born, they would stay until a certain age and then be put in plastic crates and sent either by truck or by airplane to research facilities where they would then spend their life in a cage undergoing any number of medical or scientific research projects. Video taken during a months long undercover operation by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, shows the Cumberland, Virginia breeding facility run by research company Envigo. The Department of Justice sued the company, alleging it was failing to provide humane care and treatment to the thousands of beagles. In a settlement last month, the company agreed to shut down the facility, though it did not admit wrongdoing. The irony of that is that these beagles are the lucky ones that were living in inhumane conditions because the conditions were inhumane enough to warrant this intervention from the Department of Justice. Kirsten Peake is with the Humane Society of the United States. How are you moving 4,000 dogs? Yeah, so we are moving the approximately 4,000 dogs in batches. We're picking them up on a rolling basis, three to 500 at a time. And so some of them come to the Humane Society of the United States Care and Rehabilitation Center. Some go directly to shelter and rescue partners. Like the ones brought to Homeward Trails, where Sue Bell hopes the attention the beagles are getting helps bring people to shelters full of other dogs in need. Once they're in the shelter, then it's our job to introduce them to all the different types of dogs we have. And most people are just looking for a really good family dog. Which is what Andrea Justice may just have found. We don't need more dogs. You know, <laughs> we have two, but we have plenty of room in our hearts and our house. And there are more beagles on the way. That's because volunteers are only halfway done removing them from that facility. So there are hundreds more dogs to go. Manuel Bohorquez, CBS News. Fairfax, Virginia. You know who does not have enough dogs? Nate Burleson. Exactly. <laughs> Here are dogs in the house. Honey, I hope you're watching. There's 4,000 of those beagles. We got to get one. And they're, beagles are small, they're docile, they're patient, which unfortunately is why they're so prized exactly. in research Nancy, in the first place. Do you have place. a dog? I do not. Oh, wow. We have a dog. For Dad sure. is holding firm against the kids <laughs> on this one. Oh, man.